not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. another delivery I told you people our stocks are fine now put whatever you have over there then get out the gourmet Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. The gourmet? Oh, it's just... I... well, I just can't believe the gourmet is a dark elf. How difficult it must have been for you in Morrowind. The food there is... Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> The Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. What next? Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course, I'm... Sorry, one giant's toe, there. What, uh, what next? A septum? As in, a gold coin? Really? Ah, I see now. That would give the Potage Le Magnifique a slightly metallic but delicious aftertaste. Ha, <laughs> simply brilliant. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, uh, is that it? Excellent. They should be ready for us now. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. These things happen. Quite here we are. Get that God's recent prisons with the young officer. We'll go in now in just a moment. It? Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and commander. be amazing. What? Your assassins. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. 
and I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. Please, everyone, enjoy. That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her, and make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should have come here. <laughs> 